So just like that, the Cowboys are handed their first loss and are part of one of the biggest upsets of the week. And to be honest, going into this game, I felt pretty good about the Cowboys' chances. I knew it would be a test, especially with all the injuries that came along with losing Trayvon for the season and then losing Tyron Smith, Tyler Biotish, and Zach Martin for the game. Those are some key pieces and it would be a test, but I still felt good about this game. If anything, I was most worried about how the Cowboys offensive line would hold up. When it came to the secondary, I feel that is one of the greatest strengths of the Cowboys is the depth they have. And although losing Trayvon is a big setback and really hurt the team, I felt, I did feel at the time and still feel that they can survive without him. And at the end of the day, after the game, the O-line played pretty damn well, missing three key guys. I can't put the blame on them. I shoved the spotlight over to the defense. They came out so flat. The Cardinals just absolutely torched them in the run game, which was such a downer, just knowing how much of an issue that was last year and how much attention it was given to this offseason. I hope it's not going to be a reoccurring theme and it was just one of those bad days, but it's not a promising sight seeing that issue pop up again. Who knows? why the defense came out so flat. I mean, there's no arguing that the Cardinals came in with just more juice and more energy than the Cowboys, period. Just take this quote from Dan Quinn. That purely wraps up how the defense played. They just did not bring their energy. Now I'm gonna jump to the offense real quick, but come back to my overarching point about the Cowboys coming in with no energy and how this can affect them for the rest of the year. For the offense side of the ball, I was pretty pleased. I mean, they moved the ball up and down the field, but when it got to the red zone, it just turned to no man's land. And this issue, it did peak its head up last week and then really surfaced, hurting them in this game. And let's be honest, I don't have the credentials to say if it's the play calling or execution. I just know something ain't right. They were one of the top teams in red zone production last year. So something's off. And a lot of people, like RG3, are saying that it's because we're missing Zeke. You know, there's probably some truth in that. However, it's only week three, and the Cowboys were missing Tyler Biotish, Tyron Smith, and Zach Martin. Three crucial pieces in the red zone run game. But enough of the negatives. There were some positives in this game, like Rico Dowdle. I mean, they must have heard me in my last video saying he needed to get more touches. I'm kidding. Then you had Michael Gallup showing up, had a great catches. Jordan Lewis and Donovan Wilson are back. I mean, there was, there was some good things about this game. And that's what some people are missing and they're going straight to the overreaction. Listen, the Cowboys have done this shit for the past two years. They play very well and then dip hard. So I understand when people say, same old Cowboys, they ain't going anywhere. But let's just be honest. Every team has bad games. Anyways, I also see a lot of people saying that this was good for the Cowboys. This will humble them. But honestly... I do not feel this loss was because of the Cowboys being too confident or being too high on themselves and overlooking the Cardinals. I mean, if anything, the Cowboys are the team that should not any at any time overlook anybody. Look at the last two years. They blew out teams and then came out flat a couple games and lost games they shouldn't have. And it costed them a first round bye, which then led in to playoff losses. If that was truly the reason the Cowboys lost this game, I have no hope for this team. And I'm fairly an optimistic Cowboys fan, but if that is truly the reason why they lost, if they got too high on themselves after two regular season wins, they ain't going nowhere. I refuse to believe that is why they lost. I honestly feel it was just a bad day at the office. And bad days at the office will cost you against any team in the NFL, period. It just is what it is. And don't get me wrong, it's unfortunate, but it's just one loss. If they aren't careful and they don't fix their mistakes, the losses will start to count up. Don't get me wrong. And if they want to have a shot at the number one seed, every game counts and they're going to have to eliminate these games. They just can't happen. Let's face it, the Eagles have a great squad. It's going to be hard just to even win the division. 
And when we look back on it, there might be a chance where we look back on this game and just cringe about what could have been if the Cowboys won this game. But no matter what, like I said, it's only one loss in only week three. The Cowboys, just like any other team in the league, are still finding their footing and still finding their identity. Losing suck, injuries suck, but it's part of football and it's something the Cowboys are going to have to push through. Here's a great quote I just heard from Mike McDaniel, who was a part of a 70-point performance. The past is something you can't control, but in my opinion, through the present, you can determine what the past was. At the end of the day, they have to move on and use this failure to propel them forward. And there's no better way to start that with a win against the New England Patriots. Last time they played, it was one of the most entertaining games the Cowboys have had in the past three years. It was an electric game. Let's, let's have another one and another win. What really makes this one interesting is seeing Ezekiel Elliott again in a Patriots uniform. It's going to be weird, but it's going to be cool. Ultimately, though, it should be a great game going against Bill Belichick and the well-coached Patriots. And right now, they're a middle-of-the-pack rushing team. So, let's face it. That's their game plan. It's going to try to rush the ball against the defense. We'll just see if they can step up to the test. But anyways, hopefully I come back next week with a Cowboys win. Hopefully they can stop this injury bug. And have a great week. Peace.